Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Well, last week we featured the opening of the Bradley Hotel in downtown Fort Wayne, but that's just one of many projects changing the skyline of Indiana's second largest city. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond caught up with Mayor Tom Henry to talk about what appears to be a renaissance of sorts in the heart of Allen County. Downtown Fort Wayne in the late 30s. Indiana's second largest city booming with businesses and manufacturing jobs. But a once robust economy began to decline by the early 90s and 2000s. Fort Wayne was a city that made things. And for decades, we enjoyed that. We had extremely high wages. We had extremely high uh, home ownership. We had a number of factories. They employ tens of thousands of people. It's the exodus of manufacturing jobs. We were hit very hard. We lost 20,000 jobs in one year. But over the last decade, over $1 billion of public and private investments in downtown has ignited a transformation in a city that only continues to build momentum. We felt that downtowns were the heart of any city, that if you made an attractive downtown that consisted of art offerings and recreational opportunities and, and a significant amount of the hospitality offerings, that it could attract people not only to come downtown and play, but to also live and work. And we've seen significant increases in all three. We've more than quadrupled the amount of people that live downtown now. And as a result, more and more investors are approaching us saying, will you partner with us to do this particular project? And Mayor Henry tells me the key, tapping into a once unwanted natural resource that's really opened up the floodgates to more investment. We have three rivers that converge in the middle of our city. Our rivers have been a challenge for a number of years that flooded homes, that flooded businesses, and we fought that for decades and spent hundreds of millions of dollars trying to push the rivers away. Well, it never really worked. So finally, we decided to change that philosophy and attempted to embrace our rivers. And they've done just that. The first phase of the riverfront, Promenade Park, opened in 2019. And phase two of the riverfront is currently in the works. We still have a ways to go. This is only phase one of three phases. Uh, this particular phase, we invested about $30 million. Uh, we still have, again, about two phases to go to the east is a new uh, mixed use development. It's about a $90 million investment uh, by uh, Barrett and Stokely. So we're getting a lot of excitement of, about this particular area of the river. We've invested about a billion dollars in our downtown over the past 10 years, and we anticipate another billion over the next four or five years. Have you seen it pay off? Oh, there's no question about it. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.